Hey you guys, welcome to today's video. I am super excited to have each and every one of you guys today. I am going to be doing a deep clean of my main living room and you guys, this video is such a special video. It is in collaboration with my very sweet friend, Sarah. I am going to let her introduce herself. You guys, she is amazing and I am so excited about this. Hi everybody, my name is Sarah and I am a mom, a set mom, and a working mom. My YouTube journey is fairly new. I've been doing this a little over six months and loving every minute of it. And I am just so excited about doing this collab with Corey today. I just love her so much. She's absolutely amazing and we're going to have so much fun. So I'd love for y'all to come check out my channel as well. My goal for my channel is just to be a happy place that's uplifting and inspirational. I touch on anything that has to do with life and mom life, so I do recipes, decor cluttering and cleaning. I also do hauls as well as makeup, tutorials, beauty tips. I also do home decor inspiration as well. So I'd love to get to know you guys and I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks again, Corey. Okay, so first of all, you guys, I just want to give every single one of you a genuine thank you. If it were not for you guys, I would not be where I'm at with my YouTube channel. And if it were not for my friends like Sarah doing collaborations with me, you guys, I would not feel so connected. I am so thankful and I genuinely feel so blessed. You guys can see that these built-in shelves are so bad. They have trash in them. They have movie cartons, pillows, blankets, stuffed animals, you name it. It is in these nooks and crannies and I need to get this stuff cleaned. So I am so happy to be doing this today. This is not my normal place of cleaning. I'm typically doing our bedrooms, bathrooms, the basement, and my office. But today is something new and I am super excited to be doing it. So you guys will see I am doing every single thing in this main living room with the exception of mopping my floor and cleaning my blinds. And that is because that is on the list of another to do that my husband is going to be completing. So I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but literally around every corner in my house is an elephant. I am obsessed with elephants, stars, and the word love. You guys, elephants are life. If you see an elephant, my name is going to be the very first name that pops into your head unless you are also, you know, a fan of elephants. They just make my heart smile. I know that sounds super cheesy, but it is true. And I have heard that elephants with their trunk up is good luck. So the majority of my elephants have their trunks up and I just cannot get enough of them. Okay guys, so I am actually wanting to film a Q&A slash assumptions video. So if you have been here for a while, ask me anything, nothing is off limits. If you are new here and you want to know more about me, but you don't want to go, you know, to my very first few videos, ask me the questions down below and I will be filming a Q&A for December. That way you guys can get to know me a little bit better there. 
and hopefully we can, you know, go back and forth and have conversations and connect better. So the other day, Miss Ellie was so bored. She took every single one of our DVDs out of their like paper cardboard container thingies. I don't know what you call them. Anyways, she took them out of the cases. That's what they are, cases. And she separated them, put the cases back on the shelf with the movies and made it look like we have more movies than we really do. So this meant that now Ellie and I have to sit down and put all of the cases back on its original DVD so everything is exactly where it's supposed to be because I am extremely OCD. So you guys will hear, see here shortly that her and I put these videos back in their corrective places and Lana does jump in and assist us with that too. So to clean the glass in the places on this little built-in with dirt, I am using equal parts water to pine saw and to dust all of my decor, I am using that pledge dusting cleaner. Guys, <laughs> I'm using pledge to dust, yeah. Um, so that is what I am using if you guys are wondering. I do think I briefly show it, but I just wanted to touch on that to let you guys know exactly what it is that I am using. And I swear, I swear by Pine Sol. I love it. If you have not seen the new green one, I highly recommend it. it smells divine. I don't know about you guys, but here on the West Coast where I live, it is in the 50s. I know other states like Idaho are, you know, in the 20s, but it is getting so cold so fast. I'm not mad at it because I love sweater weather, but I do not want wet socks. And once snow comes, my socks always get wet and this girl is not okay with that. So if you could recommend a good snow boot, that isn't necessarily you know the highest in price that would be greatly appreciated so leave that in a comment down below because i am in the market for a pair that i could really use all time like throughout the whole entire year you know no matter where it is that i am at you know just a super cute boot snow boot water boot winter boot whatever you want to call those boots a super cute pair of boots that could go with me everywhere You guys, I am not going to apologize for all of my speaking errors. <laughs> I cannot, I cannot with myself. I should be ashamed, but y'all I'm not because I'm human and you know, it is what it is. So if you like me, you fully understand that. You guys, my poor sweet puppy wanted to be with me so bad, but I was so worried that she was gonna knock down my tripod. So I couldn't let her cuddle me and it was so hard because I just wanted to be loving on her and she's like, mom, please love on me. I'm not sure if you guys know this about me, 
or about my family, but we are movie buffs. We love all of the Disney movies, all of the Pixar movies, and um, at the top shelf, we do have adult movies, you know, movies that are like above PG-13, um, but we love watching movies. If we are at home as a family, we are always watching a movie or a funny TV show. That is just, you know, our our must on the weekends. We absolutely love movies. My current favorite movie in the winter time and in the month of December is, dun, 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 da, da, dun. do you guys know? Please tell me you know. It is The Family Stone. If you have not seen it, please, please spend the $10 on it. Purchase it on Amazon. You will not regret it. I promise you, you will love it. Outside of Christmas time, my other favorite movie is Love and Basketball. If you have never seen it, watch it. Super good. Not kid friendly. However, it's not, you know, a super bad movie either. It's a really good movie. I love it. I recommend it. You should watch it. What is your favorite movie? Do you have favorite movies for like certain seasons or just in, gen in general? What is your favorite movie? I would love to know so I could pick it up and watch it. Yeah, don't worry, like I said, there is probably one of everything in the nooks and crannies of these built-ins. You just saw me throw away some candy wrappers, some drawing wrappers, drawing wrappers. Guys, I told you, some drawing paper. Anyways, anyways, we're getting it all cleaned up. Please do not judge. This girl is a full-time working mama of four. And well, you know, something's whack and that's okay. I'm doing it now. <laughs> I am also looking to do new family photos. 
Um, what is your guys' favorite color to wear for family photos? We have done red and black. We have done blue and yellow. We have done yellow and gray. I love mauve. I love red. Um, but I'm just looking for something new. What do you guys recommend for a family of six, two boys, four girls to wear for family photos? I would love to get your input because that is something that is on the top of my list to get done before 2020 is over. I think the last family photo we have was when D was like nine months old. And that is so sad. We do have more recent photos of just the four kids, um, probably back like four years ago. But you guys, come on now. That's not okay. I need to get on top of getting pictures of my family. Please remind me, please encourage me, push me, push me, push me until you see new family photos somewhere in my house. Please and thank you. That statue that you see there of the husband and wife holding their little child actually came from my husband's mom. She passed away a little over a year ago um, and she gave us that statue and it just touches my heart. I love it so much and it is absolutely beautiful. It is super dark there in the nook of that shelf only because I don't have the lights up, but it is um, the most special thing and I absolutely adore it. These shelves right here are specifically for our computer stuff, my husband's PlayStation and video games, as well as my kid's PlayStation and video games. So you will see I'm just cleaning underneath all of that with the pine saw and water equal parts solution that I have made. And um, all of these shelves on either side of the TV are glass shelves. So, mm, you know, not my favorite thing. I wish it was wood, but it is glass and I do not plan on changing it anytime soon. So for now and forever, it will probably stay glass. So this computer screen that you see down on the left hand side is where my two younger kids play a video game called Little Big Planet. It is such a fun game. It's like little sack people, super cute, super fun. Um, we just wanted them to be able to have like a separate space where they could play some video games supervised. So that's what that is. The other black thing that is right next to it is our air purifier. 
If you did not know, I am immune compromised. I have multiple sclerosis and I do an infusion medication every six months, two times every six months that completely wipe my B cells. So we have to um, purify the air throughout our house pretty much nonstop. So that is just tucked back in that little cranny so I can get the floors vacuumed and everything else cleaned up and then I will be turning that purifier back on. So here I'm just cleaning up everything off of my couch. That way I can vacuum it. And you can see Dee is just laying on the couch, cuddling cozy. And Lana is just back and forth helping me pick things up and put them away. Also, there's my husband making a little bit of a debut. We just ordered the dog some dog bone things. So he's just putting them up there on that dog crate for me to take care of as I wish. The vacuum that I am using right now is a Shark Upright Vacuum. Um, I really love it. My husband has a funny obsession with vacuums. So we have this vacuum, um, a Dirt Devil vacuum, a robot vacuum, and a like shop vac vacuum. I'm sure if he found another vacuum that didn't cost $1,000, he would make a purchase because he is always in the market for vacuums. He even bathes these vacuums you guys funny story but it's true he is a vacuum connoisseur and hopefully hopefully fingers crossed and a lot of success you know a vacuum company may or may not sponsor me in the near future or in the next five years you know you can always keep your fingers crossed and have big goals and you know sometimes they may come true so I am just resting my hat on the fact that you know, goals are made to be made. And I am a girl off of putting it out into the universe and expecting that I am worth or knowing that I am worth really, really, really good things. I know vacuum seems super minimal, but you guys, how cool would that be to just say I was sponsored and not because of necessarily who I am, but because of the love and support that all of my subscribers and all of my YouTube friends and family are giving me. I think that would be so cool. I also just wanted to say how ironic is it that mine and Sarah's channels are so similar like does God not work in mysterious ways you guys how cool is that So now I think every single person in my family has showed face in this video. My dog has, however you have not seen my cat, but we all live in this humble abode. Anyways guys, I am going to stop chitter chattering, but I wanted to tell Sarah thank you so much for doing this collaboration with me. Thank you so much for your endless support and girl, I cannot wait to watch your channel take off and to just 
see you fly. You are so sweet. You are so motivating and your genuine personality definitely sticks out above the crowd. And girl, you are life. I am so excited to be on this journey with you. And if you guys are coming from Sarah's channel, please know I am so grateful. I put my head on my pillow at the end of every night and thank each and every one of my followers. And I hope, I hope that my followers can feel it because you guys, I would not be where I am today if I didn't have each and every one of you. So whether you are here from Sarah's channel or whether you are one of my, you know, daily subs, just know I love you, know I am so thankful and know that I will continue to do these videos for you guys and also know you guys are making a change in me. You guys are helping me grow. You guys are helping me feel more confident and you guys are making me feel so loved and I am so blessed by all of that. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and stop with the chitter chat. I'm going to vacuum this couch, clean off my dog's crate and that will be that. Thank you so much, Sarah. So much love to you, girl. And I'm excited to watch your video. Have a great day, guys. I love you all. Have a beautiful day. Thank you guys so much for watching. 